Welcome to a new video and in this video I'm going to talk to you about the new firmware update which has just dropped for users of the DJI Goggles 3 and Remote Controller 3 which allows us to control the DJI O3 air unit and I'm absolutely thrilled about this new update because I've been waiting for this for months and months and months because like many of us when I upgraded to the Avata 2 I sold my DJI Goggles 2 and Remote Controller 2 and that meant that my O3 air unit drones had to sit on the shelves and do nothing. Well, no more of that because now I can fly these again. In order to get this new firmware upgrade on your system, just connect your mobile phone to the Goggles 3, turn on the remote controller, the Goggles, and I would turn on the aircraft as well. So that's the DJI Vata 2. Um, go to the DJI Fly app, make sure that's on the latest version. You'll get a notification that a new firmware update is available. Click on that and go through the procedure of getting the system updated. It takes about five, five to seven minutes. Once you're done with that, it'll reboot. And as far as that system's concerned, you're done. But you'll also have to update your DJI O3 Air unit. So in order to do that, you'll have to use the DJI Assistant 2 for consumer drones. So you'll have to download that if you haven't got it already. Connect it to the DJI O3 Air unit using USB-C and go for the update process by updating to the latest firmware. The final step you'll have to do is just bind your O3 air unit to your goggles. That's done by holding down the bind button on the O3 air unit with something like a toothpick. I tend to avoid using metallic objects, but yeah, make sure it's powered on. Hold that down. That'll result in a flashing red light. And while that's flashing, uh, make sure that your goggles are turned on. Hold down the power button for, I think, about three or five seconds. That'll make the goggles beep. After a few seconds it'll bind, you'll see confirmation of that in the goggles display and you're good to go. So I've done all that, uh, I've tested it, I would go into beta flight or whatever um, flight control system you're using on your drone and just check that the channels are matching up and that everything's working fine. But yeah, beyond that the whole system is linked up and ready to go. In order to switch the goggles into all three air unit modes, um, you also need to go into the status section, click on switch, find the all three air unit, click on that, and the goggles will switch into compatibility with the all three air units once you've done the update, obviously. Uh, just having a quick look at this. Uh, that seems fine. So interestingly, it looks like the four by three aspect ratio is not available with any of the 4K resolutions. Um, I had a look earlier and it does seem to be available on 2.7 so maybe that's something they can fix with an upgrade or I don't know if that was actually available on the Goggles 2. Someone might have to confirm that but yeah so 4x3 aspect ratio which I have been massively advocating in another video is not currently available for 4K on the or 3 air unit when it's compatible with the Goggles 3. So it'd be interesting whether that's just generally a case or if it's just with this new update and the Goggles 3. But yeah, apart from that, all seems fine. Uh, for those of you interested, the drone I'm flying is an AOS 3.5. It's a very small drone. Um, I built this because I wanted to have a drone which is under 250 grams. Um, but yeah, it's a very really nice frame and just a Betaflight F7 board. I always say there's something very different about how beta flight drones fly compared to DJI. It's, um, it feels like it's a lot more on rails. I mean, there's none of that shaking around that you get. And it's just from a flying sort of enjoyment experience, I always find these a bit nicer than DJI, even though obviously the Avata, the FPV drone have nice features like, um, just, just kind of, point out this stage the connection is noticeably not not as good as the uh, as the Avata 2. Um, looking at the bitrate I think the maximum bitrate I'm getting is yeah it's 50 meg megabits per second so probably obvious to a lot of viewers but um, I just want to confirm it but yeah it's definitely just an 03 system you're not getting a free upgrade to 04 despite the goggles being 04 the system you're transmitting is clearly just all three that's because we're getting just 50 megabits per second but it's I mean it's not bad but um, I'm not flying on FCC mode or anything so I wouldn't expect the world from this but as soon as I get behind these trees you can see the video gets a bit framey and 
horrible um, just flying through these woodlands even at this point I've got pretty clear line of sight but the, the connections not particularly good um, yeah even there I mean I've just got just a couple of tree trunks between me and the drone and it's dropped down to quite a low bit right so compared to the Avata 2 or even the Avata I'd say I mean the connect the transmission is not particularly amazing but I'm flying my O3 air unit with my goggles 3 and I'm still quite happy about that so um, it'll be interesting how this flies with the FCC hack um, possibly a strong case to go for it if you're willing to be a bit naughty and <laughs> go that way but yeah like uh, that connection's not um, let's see how we can fly in clear line of sight no trees or anything so that's which one we're pointing I'm pointing that way okay so let's have a look let's go and fly this way flying out so that's a bit overexposed but Yeah, okay, it's not bad. I mean, so that's my first flight done. Um, it's really interesting when you fly or you get used to DJI drones and like the F Avata 2 and the FPV drone and you sort of you forget how much you miss the way in a, a proper FPV drone flies on beta flight. I'll just take these off because I look like a dick. So yeah, you, you kind of forget how nice an, a beta flight drone or well-tuned drone flies. I mean, I always say the, the Avata 2, the Avata, the FPV drone fly like a bag of shit, like the way they're tuned and they should be tuned better, but you get a lot of benefits like the redundancy of having GPS recovery in case you lose your signal or longer flight times, you know, you know just a plug and play system, all the kind of things which make DJI drones so nice to fly but on the other hand you have the way that a beta flight type drone will fly which is just so much more pleasant it's like it's on rails and it's just smooth and just a really nice flying experience so yeah it's, it sort of reminds me of what i missed about a beta flight but it's also reminding me about what i've got with the dji systems or with the dji fpv drones which i don't get so there are pros and cons for both and You'll have to find out for yourself what you prefer if you want to venture into both but one thing i would say about this system is or with this upgrade the signal strength in ce mode is appallingly bad i mean as soon as you get any bushes or trees or anything like that between you and the drone that signal drops off and i can't fly particularly far at all so if you're flying in ce mode you're not using any of the hacks or the fcc hacks which i'll have to check if that even works with this so that's another question but as it is at the moment flying around woodlands is actually not particularly useful and this is definitely something where i'd be using the avatar 2. i don't know if it's because i'm just so used to 04 and kind of going back to essentially an 03 system is a bit pants but um yeah there's a strong case for me to stick with the avatar 2. yep so that ties it up uh the update does work it works brilliantly in terms of functionality and everything um, the range is pretty shit and that could just be because it's 03 as opposed to 04 so we definitely confirmed it's 03 because we get 50 megabits per second instead of 60 megabits per second but yeah the in terms of an 03 system it works brilliantly and i don't want to whinge about it too much because it's brilliant that dji have already brought this out it's only been about three months since the avatar 2 the 04 system was released and for us to get an update which wasn't even guaranteed at that point so soon after that is brilliant so thank you dji for making that happen for me the next thing to find out is whether the fcc hacks or any of the ham sort of ham file hacks or fcc hacks work on this because if there's ever been a case to be naughty and use those hacks i'd say this is definitely it because like i said the range is a bit bad penetration certainly is really really bad but yeah apart from that really stoked really thrilled that that update has come um, hope you found this interesting and useful. Uh, if you have an O3 Air unit, I don't know what you're waiting for, get out there, update it, and get flying and enjoy yourselves. And until next time, happy flying, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.
So at that last location, I was obviously quite unhappy with the range with the new update and the way the drone performs in CE mode. Um, like I mentioned at the time, just a few tree trunks and a few bushes in between you and your line of sight and the drone and things just turn horrible and like, your range and your bitrate just goes right down into the cellar. So I have looked into the FCC mode or the ham hack. Um, Obviously, I'm not going to demonstrate me flying that ham hack in this location because that'll be stupid and it's kind of slightly illegal. But you can take it from me that the ham hack does work with the, um, the new update and the O3 air unit operated with the goggles 3 and remote 3. Um, you can verify that by going into the transmission section and checking that in 40 megahertz you've got three channels available. So that definitely works. And you can also take it from me that the range and penetration is massively improved when you operate with the Hamhack Active. So um, I happen to have a little bit of footage here, which I'll just show now. And in that footage, you can tell that um, you've got a set of trees very similar to these ones here in between the pilot and the drone. And as you can see, the transmission quality is remarkably better. It doesn't drop anywhere near as low as it did in the woods when I was flying earlier. So all in all, yes, the ham hack does massively improve your range and penetration with the um, this new system and the upgrade or update. So yeah, uh, just thought I'd just tag this onto the end of the video because that's probably going to be the one question that everyone's going to be asking, especially if you're in the European sort of the area. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, happy flying and goodbye.